And here we are, Swiss round two, right around the corner, and we have the trophies in shot. That's what everyone's playing for right now, and we have our two teams, or our two Pokemon teams here. It's going to be Emmanuel Abraha and Rishi Gupta facing off in Pokemon here. I'm excited to see, and we have some very interesting teams to boot. These are, when I looked through the team sheets at the start of the day, these are two of the teams I picked up where I was like, you are a funky team, you're a funky team, and now they're facing each other, and I don't know what to make of these teams. I am excited to see how they work. I don't know how you play against these teams. These are some interesting teams that will make for quite the interesting <laughs> set of battles here. And that's not to say that these are uncompetitive teams. They have the pillars that they need to make this structure strong, but they just have some little extra spice in there to make things very interesting in some very off-meta picks. Yeah, we're seeing Pokemon that don't get played here, but have been good before. Yeah, we can, I'm pretty sure we could talk about these. Let's just get right into yeah, it. Yeah, let's start with Emmanuel's team. You have Incineroar, you have Fluttermane, both Pokemon I said we'd see. Typical You've got Amoongus, pretty typical. Fluttermane is running Choice Specs Parasol. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, Why at the not? end of the game, if you can get your Fluttermane to live, you put up that Parish Song, that's another win condition. <laughs> uh, we have Ting Lu coming back. Ting Lu really big in when it came into the game to start off because it was very defensive. We have... Does a lot of damage. The where it starts to get a little actually very strange is the Porygon and the Como. Yeah, we're seeing <laughs> Porygon 2 here with the Eviolite Trick Room. Trying to set up Trick Room maybe for that Ting Lu, for... The Incineroar, maybe. And a Terra Poison with a Terra Blast yeah, <laughs> for the coverage. I, yeah, for coverage. I, I love the Porygon line. I think they're a very fun line. So I'm, ex so I'm excited to see what yes. happens there. <laughs> and the other teams we have are, are Como here. Como is a very interesting Pokemon. They're playing this like a Steel-type Como with Protect, Iron Defense, Body Press, and Iron Head. And we are just going into the second match here, or first match of Swiss Round 2. And here we are. Starting off, Amoongus Fluttermane versus Ogre Pond Zapdos. And that Ogre Pond is going to be the Cornerstone Mask. Yeah, we're seeing the Ogre, the Cornerstone match, Ogre Pond, and the Zapdos Galar form. And it's looking very interesting here. We're going to see the withdrawal, though, from Rishi out of the gate. Pulling in that Red Ice. There's the other Pokemon that really I did not expect to see today. But yeah, I wasn't expecting to see that either. We're seeing the terror out of the gate. This game is starting off with an explosive start. And what is this terror going to be on? It looks like it's a water terror type, a water terror type. Water Amoongus. There we go. It's going to be nice coverage against that ice type there. Going for the rage powder, trying to block the damage. Put the swap out. They might not even be going for damage. Power whip into the flutter main. Oh, the one shot. Wow. What a way to start this one off. I mean, Fluttermane's defense stats not strong, so I'm not shocked to see the one-shot knockout there. The fact Going into the, ste the Steel-type Como. You, the, you need that, though, against this Regi Ice. That's going to be... Very true. But the question is, can it oh, live an attack? He didn't take the Steel Terror, though. No. He's not going to have any stab going in on, on this Como. Going on the Protect here for Amoongus. Very strong move there. Oh, it does have body See what happens though. to Como. I think Como has to iron defense and hope the Reg Ice doesn't get a one shot knockout. Protect him up from Moongus. If Rishi went for a setup here, this could be massive. The power whip comes out though, and it's going to be blocked out by the Moongus. Good block, good block. I wouldn't be shocked if we see. There's the iron defense from the Como. We see that ice beam from the Reg Ice, and my guess here, there it is. How much does that do? Oh, oh wow! The six, it lifts on six. And, and the, freeze! the freeze comes out from Rishi. Oh, oh no! This is a pure disaster for Emmanuel. What else could you do at this point? That freeze mattered. It, it, it certainly matters. Amoongus is not gonna be your attacker here. You're gonna have to swap out in a panic state, and he's on one HP as well. This is just not going well for Emmanuel, and Rishi is just controlling the game right now. Yeah, gonna have to really hope that you can buy some time here. Hopefully, get out of that freeze early, but not in a great position. Pulls out, switches out the Red Ice. Doesn't go for the almost guaranteed knockout oh. here. Switching into that. Zapdos Galar. I think he read the team sheet and he has a feeling. Power Whip is... takes out oh, Amoongus. No. I have a feeling Rishi knows that Porygon is probably the last piece of this puzzle and yeah. wants the fighting type. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you're 
if you're Rishi, you're really in a good position here. Oh no, the freeze doesn't get out of the freeze. Does get that leftovers recovery, but really, Como is now facing down a Zapdos Galar with choice specs. It's got Brave Bird, <laughs> Close Combat, Stomping Tantrum, and U-Turn. Those leftovers are freezer burn right now. They're not good anymore. <laughs> no, <laughs> with that freeze, much. gets the attack raise. That's not what you want to see from Porygon with download. You really want to see that special attack raise. And now, I think that might be just about it. It is a standstill right now. Both players what thinking, what can we do here? Go How for the trick room. Work? Might as well try. Okay. Gonna go for the body press, knock out the Ogre Pond. If he breaks out of the freeze, but the close combat close comes combat. out, and he lives. Let's not get the knockout. Porygon 2, very defensive with that Eviolite. Light. The Trick Room is about to come off, unless a second Ivy, Ivy Cudgel, Cudgel that's gonna into Porygon 2, takes out the Porygon, with, with the a crit, crit to boot. <laughs> Adding insult to injury, making sure that Porygon had no chance left to live, and the freeze comes out from Como. Como, just, I mean, <laughs> what do you do at this, this point? Is it. Yeah. Congrats to Rishi. He played a, a very aggressive game here. A dominant first round win there by Rishi. Yes, that's yeah. A nice, courteous forfeit. My, no, don't <laughs> drag it out. Don't drag it out. Me. Really, at this point, there's not much Rishi, uh, Emmanuel could have done to if win that un, round. If he unfroze, you know, maybe there was something he could have done. But you know, at that point, Rishi that, still had another Pokemon in the back that we didn't see. Oh, that's true. We didn't know what he picked there. We don't know what his fourth Mon there was. So, that's going to be some information deprived on the side of Emmanuel. So, going forward, this match is going to be even more tougher. Yeah. Rishi does have a really interesting team. We didn't go over his team before. Let's go over it now. We are looking at Regice. We are looking at a Slow King. With Chili Reception. With Chili Reception, which is the interesting move here. Trying to get up that hail, give or give up the snow. Give Regice even more defense, and it's already insane defense stats. And you get the swap out as well, Slowking. You don't have to fully commit to keeping that Slowking out there with the Regice. Yeah. We are also looking at that Zapdos Galar that we saw with Defiant. A great ability in this set with Incineroar around. Really gives it that boost. We haven't seen Zapdos Galar really much before. But it's that niche pick that maybe, hey, Zapdos Galar is a ticket here to win. Yeah, and then we had the Ogre Pond of the Cornerstone Mask. We did see that, but we didn't really see it use that mask for any great reason, right? No, it had the Power Whip. It had the Ivy Cudgel. That's all it really needed to deal the damage there and get the win. But it's good coverage. Rock types are going to be very good, especially if other teams are running that Articuno meta. So yeah, it's de decent coverage. And then we also have the Incineroar and the Raging Bolt in tow, just for those powerful picks. Yeah, they're both very strong Pokemon. We'll see what changes get made. Emmanuel is going to hope not to get that freeze off. I mean, if he doesn't get that freeze, maybe it changes up. You have the Iron Defense, you have the Body Press for the big damage. Really, just that freeze was not what they wanted to see. No, that freeze was the <laughs> freeze that really ended it all. If yeah. he didn't get frozen there, this would have been probably a competitive game, but Rishi got the lucky freeze, and it really just spelled doom for Emmanuel. Yeah, so we'll see what they do to change up the game plans here. If you're Rishi, I think you feel confident in your team. We are going into the battles here. Yeah, once again, we're starting on an Amoogus we here. We see the Slow Kings out. Oh, I just realized you can chilly reception. He into could. switching could. into your Reg Ice. The Porygon 2 is going to tear into the Poison type. Interesting. Does, is this effective against any of the Sloking Terra's Fairy? It would be effective, but otherwise... Yeah, there's really... But with Porygon 2, there's really not much that Rishi can do to take out a Poison-type quickly. Okay, Going for the Follow Me, but really doesn't do much this turn. We'll see if the Chilly Reception goes out. There's the Ice Beam. There's the Ice Beam. Does a fair effective. bit of damage. Not a ton, though. So Going for the Psychic into the Amoongus, but it fails. Oh, that's not a great So, Emmanuel start. into a better position just off the gate here. Yeah, Emmanuel played that start perfectly. And now, things are looking great. It's a little bit of a reversal here. Gotta see what Rishi does to try and get himself out of this. Yeah. That's Emmanuel, think about the Trick Room there. I don't hate the Trick Room. Got a lot of slow Pokemon. Tinglu in the back, Incineroar in the back. Switch. Looks like they might be switching into the Incineroar, having few technical issues, but that's okay. Yeah, they're going to be switching into the Incineroar instead of the... S Are we also seeing a switch on the Slowking as well? Or was that a move committed? Either way, we're going to see Tinglu coming out. Tinglu comes out. out. Instead of the Porygon. 
Who else? Who else are we going to see? No. The Ivy Cudgel into the Amoongus. I guess they predicted the Amoongus switch. Amoongus did not switch. The Psychic Once this Amoongus also into the Amoongus. Gone. But does that kill? I mean, Amoongus is pretty weak. But I don't think it did. It did not. Moved. They got the Spore off. But How is much is Amoongus alive by? Cannot be al alive on 13. I think the Tinglu was clutch there. His ability weakening the special attack of everybody. Really yeah, that is true. Saved that Amoongus' life. That that is a huge change with that Tinglu coming out. That's a big. We're gonna see Amoongus switch out. Try and save Amoongus for later. Porygon two is back in. That Terra Poison gets the down, gets the attack raise again. Once again. Again, not ideally what you want. You see the spiky shield go up. Pawns protecting itself. Let's see. There's Take the body press. Which is it on? And it's on the spiky shield. That's going to hurt a little bit. Not too much, though. But just, no. Just a little bit of damage. It all adds up eventually. Slow King. Going to be a very slow to waking up as he's still asleep here. I'm going to see Team Lou trying go all in on the slow king well it's all vulnerable now i think will this be a trick room or will this be an ice beam and now oh wow the power whip one shots ting lu no, oh, no it doesn't still he up. ting lu's still up use that ruination does half the damage to slow king there slow king does have the citrus berry it will heal that back up also with the generator if he needs to switch out yeah this is getting Dicey here. Trick Room goes up. Trick and going now, up. Emmanuel should be in a good spot here. Tinglu, 2 HP. Might be able to get one more move off. We might see the swap out come in as well. Really thinking about it. Which thinking one? about the Incinera there. Switching into the Incinera. Gonna get that Intimidate off. Try and really weaken that Ogre Pond. And this slow king. Ice Beam into the Ogre Pond. Really just take it out as a target to be it at all. Yeah, you don't want this Ogre Pond up for much longer. That Power Whip nearly took out Ting Lu in one fell swoop. Now we see the Intimidate come out. That's going to be huge against that Ogre Pond. There's Fall. the Follow Me. Fine with losing uh, you think Ogre he's Pond wake up? Oh. 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 Slow King was asleep. trying to get its Chili Reception off, but it's still asleep. And Ogre Pond is hit with the Ice Beam and knocked out and with a crit. crit. Just for the sake of why not. I don't think that crit matters there. I still think the Porygon gets the knockout no matter what. But maybe it does matter. Yeah, it could have been a weak hit. Maybe that crit really pushed it over the line here. There's a Reggie Ice and with no snow, he's going to be in a little bit of a bad spot, especially against this Incineroar. That Sloking has been asleep for all three turns, so it will wake up this turn. But what do you do? Bring in the Ting Lu by the looks of it. Sloking will wake up. Will it use the Chilling Reception? I believe so. I would maybe it will try and pressure the knockout here. We'll see. Now we're seeing a swap out, of course. These things take time. You have to amp yourself up before you make the big old swap here. Now, yeah. Porygon, you want to protect that because Porygon has been doing the work here on the field. Now, Ting Lu, going to go back in. Probably just be a sandbag for the team. Take the hit, get a re-swap back in. Yeah, Emmanuel really doing a lot of the damage here. Oh, Terra. Terra on what? On Rishi, what's it going to be? Regi Terra, Ice. Reg Ice. Terra Reg Ice will change it to an Ice type. Oh, it's just going all big damage here. Yeah. He needs this snow. <laughs> I think they will get the snow up. I think... Goes There's for the, the fake, fake out, out, though. I find it crazy he didn't go for a flare blitz there and just try and snipe out this Reg Ice. There, it wakes up. We'll get the chilling reception off. There it is. It's a move I do you don't see very often as it's only on the Slowpoke line. <laughs> a very rare move. It's like a U-turn that sets up snow. It's it's crazy. Yeah. It's a very interesting move. It's a very interesting move. And if it was on Ice-type Pokemon, on Pokemon that want to use snow, you might see it more. And we see the Incineroar come out. Oh, that's going to be big. That's good. Now, you would have to assume that the Ting Lu is... Go Ting Lu does not have Protect. It's, it's Assault Vest. So you can fake out that Ting Lu and remove it from the battle completely if you don't switch it out here. 
out, or you could try and fake out the Incineroar if he goes for the swap out. Rishi has a few decisions to make here, and one of the big decisions to make is a who do you sick this Reggie Eyes on? You put so much setup. That is going to be the one to take down. I think you might have to try and fake out this Incineroar, because if you don't, it's going to try do a lot to take out this Reggie Eyes. But we're actually going to see the swap out come out. Trying to yeah. get the hard read there on the fake out. Download. Once again, the attack raise on the download. Going for the blizzard. That's going to do a lot of damage. Let's see it. Effective Doesn't on Ting Lu. We expected that. Takes out the Ting Lu. Porygon. Doesn't get the freeze again. Does not get. Gets the parting shot, though. Off on the Porygon 2. Going to lower its stats. Really, Porygon 2's stats are already low to begin with. Taking that minus one special attack, it's not going to be able to do much. We'll see the swap out back into the Slow King. To try and deal with this center roar, I believe, is what he's expecting, but I have a feeling the Amoogus is gonna be committed here. Because if he gets sleep on this Regice, that would be massive. Yeah, the sleep on the Regice would be almost detrimental here. Did not see how many turns of Trick Room we have left, but Trick Room is still up. Yeah, we still have to account for that. And it, Regice now, is... It's important to know that this Reg Ice is locked into it is locked into Blizzard. That's choice. So we'll keep seeing that Blizzard spam. Gonna go for the Protect here. Yeah, we will see the Protect. Try and keep that Amoongus alive a little bit longer. No. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we see the swap no, we're in. Looking to be going into Incineroar. We've Incineroar seen. should be able to live a Blizzard here. Yeah, there is the Incineroar committed. It should be able to live, like you said. Intimidate comes out, not gonna do all too much. The clear body, Reg is not gonna affect it at all. But it's gonna be a special attack coming out here. Blizzard, Blizzard. is gonna be unleashed. Doesn't and do a lot to the Incineroar, does not do a lot. The, the psychic, psychic into the Porygon 2 takes out the Porygon 2. I forgot that Slowking was running Psychic there because it didn't land on that Amoogus the one time it used it. No, it's not. So that Poison type, Porygon, really, really took the burn there. Now. Only Ting Lu and Amoongus left, or sorry, and Sinner and Amoongus left. Pokemon that really don't do a lot of damage. These are mainly support Pokemon. So how do you get out of this scenario here? I don't quite know. You have the fake out, you have the Flare Blitz, you might be able to whittle down this Regice, but with another Incineroar in the pocket, and this Slowking on the field, it's looking like Rishi has this one in the bag as well. But we'll see. see. Fake out on the Slowking this time. They're not afraid of this Blizzard. Flinch comes out. Blizzard, Blizzard out. will get a kill. How much does it do? Yeah, it takes out the Amoongus. It should, it should take it. It should. I mean, it's Terra Ice Stab Blizzard in the snow. It's still not doing as much as I thought it would, though. I thought it would be it's just sweeping here, but I guess with no stat boosts. No, Red Ice is a very defensive oh. Pokemon. There's the Flare Blitz. <laughs> That's a massive Flare Blitz. Big Flare Blitz. I don't think that'll be enough to knock out. No, Red no, Ice is, is still not. alive. The Scald into the Incineroar. And that's and That's going to do it. <laughs> So that is a 2-0 victory for Rishi. That's game, set, match. Rishi, weird team, amazing performance. Yeah, we didn't see the Raging Bolt this, this game, but that Zapdos Gal in the first game, that Ogre Pond did a ton of damage. That Regice really, as much as it's not a super offensive Pokemon, it's able to stick around and deal a ton of damage in the back half there. Yeah, it required... Some setup, not too much really. It just needed the chilly reception. The main thing that slowed Rishi down there was the sleep on the Slow King. Yeah. I'm just imagining now the match in which that sleep didn't come out and that Reggie Ice so early on was that powerful. Yeah, really what Emmanuel needed to do was find that point to get that get that damage in, but really with Incineroar and Amoogus and Porygon 2, you have a lot of support Pokemon that really can't deal as much damage as quickly. Yeah, Ting Lu is up, but he got very low very quick. Yeah, the Regice into the Ting Lu matchup here, not great for Ting Lu. Regice able to really take it out quickly. But they were some incredible games. I'm excited to see if Rishi goes forward with this team, if we see it in top eight, and to see how the other players deal with this team, because this is a very interesting team. The players might will 
probably not have practiced against. Yeah, I don't think they're prepared to go up against this, but what a joy that one was to watch. Like, I just love seeing the variety of teams because the first time we did this, not to put it down, it was a great showing. It was a lot of Sun, Raging Bolt teams, a lot of the same teams, but now at this mid-season showdown, we're seeing so much more variety at, at play here. Yeah, oh, 100%. I'd be shocked if these teams are so diverse, and we've seen a lot of diverse teams today. I will be shocked if a standard team picks up a win. You have uh, The standard teams are good, but there's so much variety today that we'll see something unique and different take a victory today. And the thing with standard teams, right, you kind of know the MO that they're going to go for. You yeah. know what their goal is. You know what moves they're going to do when. But these teams... You're just guessing. You're like, I know he's probably running these moves, but I don't know what order he's going to use them. I don't know what the exact setup is going to be. And that just leaves so much more up in the air and gives you such an advantage over your opponent. Yeah, and the interesting thing, especially about... Yeah, the thing about that is it's tough to deal with, right? Yeah, <laughs> and the interesting thing about today is this is a two-day event. We will see a lot of these players tomorrow, so this is a good chance to take a look at today. There'll probably be a lot of players tonight going back, going back to their hotels, wherever they're staying, and watching today's stream and <laughs> looking at these very unique teams and prepping for them. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be very interesting. We'll see a lot of team shifts probably to account for these weirder teams. And then those weirder teams are probably going to shift as well, and it'll be a whole crazy mess all over again. But that's what I love it for. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting day. We've just Round two is finishing up now. We still have six more rounds to go today. Yeah, and it's I'm I'm here for it. I'm excited to see what is, you know, going to come out through the sieve. You know, all all of them are going to be shaken out. We're going to see which of the best teams will remain. Yeah, it will be an exciting day, and I'm excited to see what teams we get to see next. Yeah, just to account once again, we didn't see the Como come out with the Terra Steel, which I think really was the, de the detriment, and I think just the free scared them into not using it again. I think I would have yeah. liked to see it again. I think if we see Emmanuel again, I wouldn't be shocked if we see him try Como again. Yeah, with all that said, though, it's looking to be a good one. We're going to throw it to a quick break, and we'll be right back with a more Pokemon with round three.